Hi there, and welcome to my collection, I guess. This is going to be a series I'm going to try and start uh, keeping up with, just kind of chronicling, showing off um, my fingers to the internet, <laughs> largely my fingers, and some of my colored lights that are up here cycling through. Uh, no, what I'm going to show off is some of the random junk that I have. Um, well, let's just start with this, because this one's relatively straightforward. Uh, this episode's going to be all cards. Uh, that I have assorted from various games, and hopefully we can figure out which ones so that I can then offer them to people. Um, some of these are Yu-Gi-Oh! Some of these are Dual Masters. Is that what they're called? Dual Masters? Some of them are... Um, we'll get to this one soon. I'm anxious to open one of these and see what this is from. But this one's pretty easy. This was a... Okay, maybe it's not that easy. Uh, this is a set of cards. I have two of them. Uh, so let's, let me just lay some of these out here. A little baggy. Uh, these are some Marvel characters that came from the Marvel Nemesis game, which uh, was, it looks like a 2005, let's see if we can get, oh, nope, they're cut off. 2005-2006 uh, release, um, let me see, Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, PSP, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, and DS, 2005... Let's see what the earliest release was. October of 2005. So all this stuff, all these things that I have, mystery packs and stuff, um, I worked at Blockbuster from 2000 to 2004-ish. And we would get in, so what would happen is we'd get in all the games, you know, like the game, the retail game. We would just get a case of games. Um, let me just reorganize these so there's something to look at while I'm yammering. Um, we would get in a case of games and to prep them for rental, we would... Wow, there's a cheat code right there. There you go. Hot cheat codes. We'll check game facts and see if that cheat code's been entered. Um, wow. Cheat code. On this guy. Uh, he looks like he would be an original character, and that's why he has no history. Uh, we would yank open the games. Uh, it's just really bright. We would yank open the games, take the manuals... Um, the manuals and the insert cover art in the boxes and file those away for when we would later sell off the used games, sell off the copies as used games. And any of this stuff, like extra things, the health and safety notices, all that stuff, we would just throw away. I, I threw out so many bags of stuff I really wish I had held on to. Stuff like this. So, if this was a 2005 release, is that what I said? 2005? Um, this might have been a pre-order bonus. Uh, I don't know, this is kind of thick to fit inside a, a, the case with the game. Um, although it might have come with the game. Uh, so this might have been a pre-order bonus thing for this game. I mean, you get your hot cheat code. Kuro, Kuro Kaki. Kuro Kaki. Let's see if that cheat code exists. Cheats. Uh, let's see, unlockable cards and slots. Was this a card game? I do not see this code entered anywhere. This is the PSP version I'm looking at, though. Let's check the PS2 version. This cheat code, it does not look like it has been reported, so I'm not sure what Kurokaki does. Interesting. Uh, I don't see it just cruising through the list there real quick. Um, so cool, there's an exclusive reveal for this video. Um, so yeah, the other set that I have is not opened, it looks like. Uh, it was never opened, so that's still sealed. And this set is uh, opened, obviously, because I've got my grubby hands all over it. And I'll put those away later. Uh, so if you are a Marvel Nemesis fan, a Marvel Nemesis collector, did my camera fall over? No, okay. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in this... Um, sealed or unsealed. I'm not really attached to either. So let's move on. Let me take a drink of coffee. And then we'll move on to one of the larger, more mysterious ones. Well, not more mysterious, but just undefined. Um, so I have this set of... Let me make sure they stay in the frame here. Duel Masters cards from Atari, it looks like. Right? Atari? Well, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, yes, the giant hologram Atari in the background of each card. Uh, they are 
sweet reflective cards. And it looks like this is the same um, in all of these. I have three sets that are not opened. So there's our Rothus the Traveler, same as this loose one. And it looks like all five cards are in there. That's not going to play well at all. Uh, so I imagine it's these five cards. But let's take a look and see if we can figure out which Duel Masters they came with. And let me do this tricky thing. Wow, that didn't load very well at all. Uh, let's see. I don't really know what Duel Masters is, so let's just not maybe play a little video over in the corner. Let me just use this. Uh, YouTube, you go away. So being 2004, 2000-ish, did I not? Oh no, you're that? Okay, arrow keys, <laughs> X-Split, stop. Oh no, you're breaking, you're running the illusion. I've never used the X-Split insert a web page. Um, that's weird. Dual masters? Ah, there it is. Okay, I cannot see the screen. Hold on. I've got to move my laptop a little bit closer so that I can see and hopefully not sound too muffled looking over at this laptop. Uh, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! comes up for Dual Masters. I guess because of Ultimate Masters. This was probably this one. It was probably this one that we got in. October 2005. Nothing on these cards says anything, right? Dual Masters trading card game. Uh, 2004. So these could have been packed in with something from 2005. Let's do a little... I don't... Okay, you're just going to reload the page. Well, this sucks. Uh, and I also cannot read that from here. 06. 04, 04, 03. It was probably one of these three that came with the cards. Um, if you are looking to complete your collection of Duel Master Shadow of the Code, Kaijudo Showdown, or Senpai Legends, uh, possibly also Invincible Advance, or okay, any of these, uh, let me know. Maybe, um,. We can work something out for one of these three packs of cards. Still sealed. They definitely came with a game. I, re I remember these coming out of a box, and it was most likely a Game Boy Advance box. So it was one of those versions. So we got our Duel Masters out of the way. This is the real tricky one. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. So let's see. I've got one. Those in frame. Okay, two, three. Those have a sluice number on them, so we can look that up and see maybe where they came from. This, I'm not sure. Oh, that, okay, that's Game Boy Advance. That was definitely from a Game Boy Advance game. Just get out of there so people can see that number. So we got those two sets. Uh, then I have this set that looks like it's got three cards in it with Zoa uh, being one of them. These are also shiny cards. You can you can appreciate the shininess without opening the package. And then this set is, uh, I think, just one card. It looks like this is just this Sengagen, Sen 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 uh, which I have one opened one of here. So we got one of those. Don't know what it, which one it came from, but that is... Man, that's shiny. That is that card. Um, I do have some other ones opened here. So we have our the one with our Abyss Soldier. It looks like there are three cards with the gray border around them. So I'm going to guess it's these three. Abyss Soldier, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. And Inferno Hammer. I don't know if those, these three would have debuted in a certain Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I'm really not terribly familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, never mind. You know what? All of these cards have a gray border on them, so that's not necessarily these three. Although Abyss Soldier... Uh, uh, who knows? Who knows? Could have been this one. Dark Magician Knight. It could have been Teva? Teva? Uh, or it could also have been any of these four. I'm not sure where all these came from now. But there are definitely just three. Let's see if we can maybe slide this apart enough. Okay, so it's a brown. Okay, it's three browns. They all have a little hologram in the bottom corner. We know for sure. Abyss Soldier is one of them. 96, 96. The rest of those are 96. Okay, so it's definitely of these. And I don't know if... Um, between all of these, it was uh, random ones. So maybe you got three of these and you got an assortment of these five cards here. I'm not sure. Uh, there were quite a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh's. I guess I meant to look up this sluice number. I'm just going to do that in my own browser here. 209. Oh, God. Please don't tell me that XSplit's changing scenes. Ah! <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's still set up, huh? What is that? These are all scenes from years of me doing stuff with XSplit. Beautiful. Well, don't use the number pad. We've learned that for episode uh, video two. Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Looks like that's where this is from, and our heater just came on, which is just below where this microphone is. I'm terribly sorry if that got very loud. Uh, let's go... Let me try this again, since we actually have something to look at here in our other scene. I can't type this number in here, can I? 20940. Okay, well... <laughs> Never mind. Ah, why? I can't touch nine. No! All right, well, uh, back to the webcam for you. Hold on, we'll just try. Ah, that's not going to work either. All right. Let's just put... Oh, okay, that's not gonna... That actually... Okay, all right, well... Okay. Well, I can't type anything in over there, so... Uh, Sluice 20940 is Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Let's just try this over here. Capsule Monster Col... I'll stop there, because I can't remember how to spell Coliseum. PlayStation 2, 2004. WinkySoft developed. Alright, can I do this? I'll bet I can. That would be rad if I could. No, no I cannot. Alright, well, let's do it this way. Save image to the desktop. And then go over here and go to our scene two and forget you game facts let's add a media file and go to the desktop there we go there's our capsule monster coliseum looks like these cards came with this the uh oh man can i mm, i should have done it this way I don't know. I don't know if this is that important. It's fun, though. There you go. There we go. All right, so it looks like this game... Gosh, it's just just perfect. There. Ah, it's right inside the box. Except the boxes don't open that direction. Uh, so it looks like this set of cards at least came with this guy. Capsule Monster Coliseum. So that's those, uh, and then AGB, let's just bring that down here a little so you can see it if you'd like to search. 
I'm gonna hope B-Y-D-E-K-O-N. Oh, that just brought up that brought up some whoa. B-Y-D-E-K-O-N. That brought up uh God knows what. Let me let me try the number. 1038. Oh, please don't be changing things. I gotta turn off those hotkeys someday. Two. What did you do? Okay, good. You didn't do anything. Hmm. Wow. Okay, maybe that number doesn't exist. I definitely know AGB is Advanced Game Boy, which is the weird coding that Nintendo used for GBA stuff. Um. Yu Gi Oh! Oh. Oh, there's not that many of them for the GBA. It'll say here what the number was. Whoa! B Y D E. All right, so the American product ID on GameFAQs is A G B B Y G E U S A. Uh, so I don't know where these guys came from. Uh, let's see. I don't have any of them, right? M's. Let's see if I can see if I can squish them apart and tell who's in here. Oh, we got D D. Oh, I gotta get my window back over. We got D D assailant, Diamond Dog assailant, and. If I can wiggle it just right. We got Twin Headed Beast back there. Uh, that is none of the cards that I've got here. They all look brown though, so it is also none of these. Oh, oh there's a big old box art in the way. Alright, well I turned off the background. There we go. Uh, give me just one second to do a search for just this number and see what comes up. Three, eight, four, seven, two. And I'll add Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! You column? Column switch? No, that's not right. That's missing the number. All right. Well, that's not bringing up. Do you know what? It's possible that these came with shown in jumps. Now that I think about it, or a um, an issue of some kind of manga or anime magazine, we would have had a blockbuster. Um, so that warrants some extra investigation for Yu-Gi-Oh. But if you know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, it doesn't point down. Uh, so then we have these other two sets. And let me see if I can separate these real quick at all. Would not want them to get torn open. We got Goblin Fan. And I can't get the other one. There's your Goblin Fan. And... Metal Zoa. So let's see if these are the same. I'm not, fingers are not working. All right, Goblin Fan for this one. And it's getting very warm up here. Metal Zoa. So these two are the same. Now I'm not sure, now that I remembered about Shonen Jumps, I don't know where they were coming from. If you've got some answers, let me know in a comment, and maybe we can figure out where they all came from. I forgot about that, so now here we go. The Showstopper, what you've been waiting for. Mystery Pack, I don't know what these are. Probably Yu-Gi-Oh! I only have four of them. They are all the same. I'm sure they are all the same. They are all from the same thing. So let's go ahead and rip this open. I really kind of don't want to. Should I cut it? 
there were scissors up here before. Is it better to cut or tear? I mean, I already kind of started to tear it, so let's just tear it open. There are Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And these are from... All right, well, here's our perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Is that the same ones that we had over here? There's Rear Yoko, Negate Attack, and Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. So, that's where those cards came from, these packs. Alright, if you are interested in those cards, I will do some more work off camera, see if I can figure out where these came from, and you can check the comments, or the description, and the comments. I might put this up before I find out, just to get this out there. So there we go, we've got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm going to put these back in here. We went through the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We went through these Duel Master cards, and we looked at these Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects cards. That is just a little bit of the junk that I have around here, so come back again and I will have another video, several videos of junk from my collection, because I can only put so much of it on Instagram at a time. And I've taken tons of pictures. Here's one more. Where is that perfectly... I love this guy. Perfectly ultimate great moth. He's perfect. He's ultimate. He's a great moth. Look at that shine. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see if I have a scene that doesn't have anything on it. Nope, that's just a random picture. Oh, that's a slideshow. All right, enjoy this slideshow. Till I figure out how to fade.